I just wanted to share some random thoughts before calling it a night, just thinking out loud right now, try to, trying to make sense of what I'm thinking. So I was thinking that according to the law of conservation of energy, energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to the other. Also, despite us not knowing where exactly the universe begins and where it ends, or as per two of the most prominent schools of thought in my neck of the woods, which is the Sanatan Dharma and like the Buddhist understanding of cosmology, we refer to this as beginningless and endless nature of the universe. In Sanatan Dharma, we use the terminology Ananta, which means infinity, you know, infinite nature of universe. So regardless of that, let us consider that the universe is a closed system, even though it has the potential, or maybe is, infinite in nature. Which means that all the energy that ever existed in this universe, that is existing in this universe, and that will continue to exist in this universe, has always been the way it is. It wasn't created, it cannot be destroyed, it just is. We don't know where this energy came from, we don't know why this energy is here, or how come it's it's here or what its purpose is it's just there <laughs> now i wanted to correlate this to the um philosophy of the yin and yang principle in chinese mythology for lack of a better word or chinese philosophy so the yin element represents the feminine aspect or the feminine principle which has its significators being represented as cold, as um, disorderliness, whereas the masculine element, which is the yang element, is heat, it is orderliness. And it, I, think, I think it's very fascinating to correlate this to what I was formerly talking about with regards to universe and energy, or even the death of the universe, which is where the factor of entropy comes in, which uh, indicates that due to the, I wouldn't say loss of energy, but due to the loss of usable energy, every time energy is transform transformed from one form to the other, ultimately we will reach a point in our universe where all of the heat will be exhausted due to entropy. So in a way, would it be an understatement for us to say that ultimately the death of the universe is going to happen when the yin element will be more heavy or dominant over the yang element or the masculine principle of the universe? Because uh, philosophically, the most ideal nature of this universe is for the yin and the yang element, or the heat and the cold, the masculine and the feminine, to be in a perpetual state of equilibrium, or the Tao, where there needs to be an aspect of the yin within the yang, and an aspect of the yang within the yin, which is what the symbol of the yin and yang represents, or rather the dots in between the symbol of the yin and yang. That's what nature, or that's what both of these energies highest potential is to be in a state of equilibrium but when one extremity dominates the other or the yang energy dominates the yin energy it will result in the increase of heat and the loss of cold and if the yin energy in a way a little bit analogous with entropy <laughs> is dominant over the yang energy then there will be um, the loss of heat and the rise of the cold, which will ultimately result in the death of everything. Yeah, so that was a fascinating idea, interesting to me at least, that I wanted to share. Good night. <laughs>